Good evening. This is Akash Bani. The news read by Shubhashachi Bhattacharji. President Draupadi Murmu has urged citizens to imbibe the constitutional ideals into their behavior, fulfill their fundamental duties and work towards achieving the national goal of a developed India by 2047. The president said this while addressing a grand event on the Constitution Day organized at the Central Hall of Sambidan Sadan in New Delhi on the completion of 75 years of adoption of the Constitution of India the president described it as a living and progressive document through which the country is achieving the goals of social justice and inclusive development the president said the ideals of justice liberty equality and fraternity mentioned in the preamble of the Indian Constitution give opportunities to citizens to prosper and take care of each other in the society she recalled the contribution of 15 women members of the constituent assembly in framing the constitution speaking on the occasion vice president jagdeep dhankar said this momentous day marks a historic milestone as the country celebrates 75 years since it adopted the constitution a remarkable achievement for the world's largest and most dynamic democracy in his address lok sabha speaker om birla said the indian constitution is the result of years of penance sacrifice ingenuity and strength of people of the country during the event the president released a commemorative coin and a stamp dedicated to the 75th anniversary of adoption of the constitution of india books titled making of the constitution of india a glimpse and making of the constitution of india and its glorious journey were released the constitution in sanskrit and maithili languages was also released prime minister narendra modi several union ministers leaders of opposition in both lok sabha and rajya sabha members of parliament and other dignitaries attended the event Prime Minister Narendra Modi has extended greetings to all citizens on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the Indian Constitution. In a social media post, Mr. Modi said that the Constitution is the guiding light of the nation. The Prime Minister said the Indian Constitution is the modern expression of a country's great tradition of thousands of years. He said today the country is moving towards with its full potential and being proud of its diversity. In the evening the prime minister will participate in the constitution day celebration being organized by the supreme court of india pm modi will also release the annual report of the indian judiciary 2023-24 union law minister arjun ram meghwal chief justice of india justice sanjeev khanna and other judges of the apex court will be present on the occasion The Congress has demanded special discussion in both houses of parliament to mark the adoption of the 75th year of the Indian Constitution. Talking to media outside parliament, Party President Mallikarjun Kharge said he had made a request to the Rajya Sabha chairman in this regard. He said there should be a two-day discussion on the Constitution and its importance. The central government has approved over 1115 crore rupees to, for disaster mitigation and capacity building projects for 15 states. A high level committee under the chairmanship of Union Home Minister Amit Shah has approved this fund. The committee approved 378 crore rupees for eight north east states nearly 140 crore rupees each for uttarakhand and himachal pradesh 100 crore rupees for maharashtra over 70 crore rupees each for karnataka and kerala and 50 crore rupees each for tamil nadu and west bengal the nation is remembering the martyrs of 2008 mumbai terror attacks today President Draupadi Murmu paid homage to the bravers who lost their lives in these attacks. In a social media post, the president said the nation is grateful and salutes its valiant security personnel who made the ultimate sacrifice while protecting countrymen. Expressing solidarity with the families of these bravers, the president said this is also the day to reiterate that India remains firmly committed to defeating terrorism in all its forms. In Mumbai, Maharashtra Governor C.P. Radhakrishnan, accompanied by Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Deputy Chief Ministers Devendra Fadnavis and Ajit Pawar, today pay tributes to martyrs on the 16th anniversary of the 26-11 terror attacks. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. Namaskar.